This video was funded by Disney XD by Maker. I commence this meeting of the Spooky Squad with a frightening tale. Is it actually going to be scary this time? Every one of my stories is scary, Susan. We just love ghosts, monsters, and unexplained occurrences so much that nothing actually scares us. You know, that's a positive. That'll come in handy when we actually run into a poltergeist, or a phantom, or a wraith. All right, tonight I share with you the bone-chilling tale of Bigfoot's big feet. Or a hatchet man. Either a man with a hatchet, or a man made entirely of hatchets. After a long week of school, Sam and Jesse were enjoying a pleasant walk in the woods. Or so they thought. Come on, Sam. Looks like there's some real interesting topography over there. Whoa, how'd you do that? I just karate kicked over here. That move's gonna kill later at karate trials. I would know. I am the team manager. And manager of team manager club. And manager of club's club. And dutiful member of math club. Are you making an entire map of the United States? Just the national parks. Isn't that kind of an outdated club at this point? I mean, we all have an entire map of the world on our phones. I could look at a street in Zimbabwe right now if I wanted to. Oh my gourd! I know, it's kind of fascinating. No, look! Give me power! The thing he's good at is taking something I enjoy and ruining it. Well, why don't you just go out karate him? Show him who's boss and make him go away. Jesse, karate is the art of self-defense. I can't just go out there and fight him. That's not self-defense. That's self-offense. Well, he seems to be fighting that tree no problem. <laughs> what is he doing? I gotta get this for viral video club. My karate ears hear someone recording me. I'll flush you out! <gasps> well, well, well. If it isn't Quitter Sam, the kid who always quits right before I beat him at the thing he likes in front of everyone. I am not a quitter. In fact, I just moved on to the next level of karate. Ninjutsu. First rule of ninjutsu. Always anticipate your enemy's next move. Whoa! That marking isn't on my map. <sighs> Is that a big footprint? I just figured Bigfoot karate. Makes sense, you know? Urban legend says they have untold powers, possibly curses. And if you look at it the wrong way, you disappear forever. Sam should step in it! Oh no, it's filled with gross water and Bigfoot whiz. Good point. Now I really want to make you step in it. You can't use a weapon against an unarmed opponent. That's against the rules. I'm rewriting the rules! Gross. Gonna go write that one down in my bully journal next to my drawings of skulls. Smelling at the karate tryouts, dork. Don't listen to him, Sam. He's a jerk. No, he's right. I stink. Forget tryouts, I'm going home. Uh, oh. Oh. Sam, what is it? Uh, something's happening. Get out of here, Jesse. What is it, Sam? Ah! Big Ambiguity. 
I am having the worst growing pains right now. The pain, it's immense. Holy maps! That big footprint really was magical. Jesse, hide me. I can't be seen like this. Oh, Sam, no one's gonna notice. Holy moly, is that a real deal Bigfoot? Darn tootin', if I ever seen one, see! Hunters are always seeing weird things like big feet out in the woods. By golly, I haven't smelled that stank in 40 years. That's a Bigfoot, all right. <laughs> a blind man on an unassisted walk just noticed. Extra, extra, I'm delivering newspapers in the woods. Oh, what the front page! Jesse, there's no way I can go to tryouts. Everyone's gonna see that I'm just a big, huge, smelly freak. But that's the best part. No one's gonna even notice it's you. You can, you can wow them with your karate skills. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I immediately yeah. regret this decision. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna know it's me. Yeah. This isn't gonna work. Yeah. Now relax. Yeah. I'm yeah. team manager. Yeah. Everyone has yeah. to believe everything yeah. I say. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Karate drills! Next up, Stan. Stan! Stan the man! Stan the regular human teenager. Regular human teenager? Uh, well, wait, I didn't mean to. That was our best karate boy. As captain of the karate team, I officially cancel these tryouts. Hey, you're not team captain. I am now, nerd, and I got something else to say. This Bigfoot is really Sam Stinkerson, the quittiest quitter and the stinkiest stinker that ever stink. <laughs> Stank! <laughs> Stuck! Yeah. Oh, no, no, wait. Man, you tricked us. You know, I used to like you for who you were on the outside. Yeah, you smell worse than my grandmother's hope chest. Why can't you just leave me alone, Billy? Because I know you, Sam. You're a big, hairy, stinky freak that doesn't belong anywhere. Especially in front of me! Now, be gone! Love hating that guy. I never thought I could be the best. Everyone's making fun of me. I'm reluctant at best and stupid, I guess. And I think that's all I'll ever be. I smell like a butt and talk like a butt. I think like a butt and I'm a big, big butt. Oh, and I guess that's all I'll ever be. What's the matter, Sam? That's right. I know your name. All us Bigfoots know each other's names. How come I don't know your name? Well, don't you? Think about it. Mark Twain? That's right. Wrote a couple of books, went on a walk in the woods, stepped in a big footprint, and uh, the rest is cool history. But this is about you, Sam. I just can't take it anymore. Billy always treats me like an outsider. Every time I start to get good at something, he comes along and ruins it. And now that I look like this, no offense. And I'm untaken. I'll never fit in anywhere. What other people think does not matter. If you keep letting a thing like that get to you, you will never get the most out of life. Now watch this. Future magic. <laughs> If you continue to give up and run away, this will be your life. Most Bigfoots live by themselves, homeless, forever hiding from humanity. If I had let the fear of failure control me, do you think I ever would have invented my patented double toothbrush? You can brush both rows at the same time, that's genius! 
No sand that is confidence. Block out what doesn't matter and the cool will always be with you. Mostly in your big foot. Ripple out. Hold on a second. Look, we're nearing the end here. And this story is not scary whatsoever. Mark Twain just appeared. There is nothing scary about Mark Twain. Look, would you guys stop interrupting me? It's about to get frightening. Was that a cool Bigfoot? In all my readings, I've never come across a cool Bigfoot. Is this a monster you've encountered? Look, Susan, can you just unpause my story? Fine. There you are, Sam. Billy freed some guys from prison in exchange for their fighting techniques, and now he's threatening to use them against the kid in the karate tournament he's holding. What? He has all the cards. Yeah, and he's fighting in a leather vest. All bets are off. Let's go. Who gave that kid the key to the nunchuck closet? They told me that if I didn't give them the keys to the nunchuck closet, they were going to beat me with nunchucks. In hindsight, they didn't have the nunchucks yet, so it was kind of an empty threat. But here we are! <laughs> Eat it, losers! The school didn't even approve this unsanctioned tournament. Uh, how could I let this happen? I'm going to lose my job! Not today, coach. I always knew I could be the best. Everybody knows I'm awesome Forever on top, I can't be stopped I am the master of all time yeah! There goes the biggest fiddle faddling foot I ever seen I know what you really are, Sam. A quitter. The only thing you're good at is Ninquitsu. I'm not a quitter. I'm a Bigfoot. With an even bigger heart. It's actually a very serious condition for lots of Bigfoots. The only condition you're gonna be in is critical. Always be with you, mostly in your big foot. Big foot, big foot. Here's the real Billy, or should I call him by his Bigfoot name? Bully. Bully the Bigfoot. Wait. That's so close to his real name. We should have known the whole time. No, I knew. Oh, okay. You figured it out, Sam. I'm a Bigfoot in an incredible disguise. And I guess I pushed you into that puddle because, well, because I was lonely. There are other ways to make friends. When you look like this, big feet like us don't belong, Sam. We're outsiders. I'm not an outsider. My name is Sam. I'm a Bigfoot and I like karate. And if anyone has a problem with that, that's on them. That's it! Bully's secret identity has been revealed, so his evil tournament is over! I don't know why they let the kids do this. From that day on, Sam dedicated his life to the art of karate that he loved so much. He opened up his own dojo for Bigfoots and also people with regular sized foots. And, you know, everyone was welcome. Well, I was right. That wasn't scary. That was more of a fable. And I guess the moral would be don't let other people's definitions of you affect who you are as a person or stop you from doing karate. And maybe our foots are a little bigger 
in our hearts. Right on. Wow, I never really thought of that. I just thought it was really scary because Bigfoot was doing karate. And you saw how all those kids got beat up in that unsanctioned prison rules tournament, but they all had to go to the hospital and they were there for a really long time. And they even had to complete school there. I didn't mention this, but the hospital was haunted. <gasps> and it's actually that one over there. <gasps> you can't tell from here, but it's totally haunted. Is Trevor just gonna leave his book here for us to clean up, I guess? He was shining that light right in my eyes, on purpose, like I wasn't even here. It's so rude. And you know what? That story... Plot holes. Everywhere. Unbelievable. <laughs>